Benjamin works in IT. Evelyn is full-time super mom. And uh, we want to give her an opportunity to tell this beautiful story in honor of Mother's Day. So, Evelyn, Pradeep. Thank you. So, I really thank God for making us a living testimony here. Because um, the path that we went through, it was not easy at all. Uh, we've been married now since it's 13 years, but for seven years, we didn't have a baby. And the culture that we are from, uh, we are basically from India, South India. Um, people don't treat you as you know, a sign of good luck. I mean, if they see that you don't have a child, they treat you as accursed. And um, uh, after we got married, we rented an apartment and we had, we had the landlords staying on the ground portion. And whenever I used to come down, they used to go inside their house and shut the doors. That was, that really made me, um, you know, so lost and I was so down in my spirit, so depressed. And after three years, God opened a door for us to come to America. And after coming here, we felt so much joy in the spirit because it's, I mean, people here, they don't care about, you know, you have a child or not. And that made us, okay, so we are in a good ground now. God, God has brought us here, okay, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> um, and God really blessed us with lovely friends and family who stood with us, uh, who encouraged us and spoke life upon us. And I know a couple of my friends, they told me, hey Evelyn, why can't you challenge yourself and do a step of faith? So I asked them like, what do you mean by that? And they told, um, if you need a baby, why can't you go to a you know, baby store and buy some clothes and declare that, declare that God is going to give you. And that was really, you know, people in India, they don't do that. Actually, if you do that, they think like, okay, you, yes, you are mad. I mean, so I thought, okay, let me do because I waited for so long. If that really works, if that really increases that faith in me, I would love to do that. So I went to the uh, baby store, got boy baby clothes and toys because me and Ben, we always wanted to have our first child to be a boy. And we wanted to name, if, it, if that was a boy, we want to name him Samuel. So we went to the store, we bought all the clothes and I laid my hands and Ben laid his hands and we prayed on it. Lord, give us, Lord, let our son wear these clothes. We declared life on that and um, yeah, life. So, but that was not easy. I mean, to have faith, declare life, but on the other side, I mean, things are not going as you expect, right? So we went through a couple of IUI treatments, but it turned out uh, a failure. Uh, it was a fertility treatment, and finally they suggested to go with IVF, which was really super expensive here. I mean, our insurance doesn't cover, and it was so hard. We had to save some money for that, and Benjamin told, like, okay, let, let this be our last attempt. Let's tr try. We, on one side, we are holding on to the promises of God, and the other side, we want to give a try and see how this works. So we ordered all the medicines and um, within 15 days, after 15 days, we are supposed to go with a procedure. So uh, doctor asked me to take birth control pills before we go with the procedure. So before taking the birth control pill, my, the spirit in me was so hardened and I felt like, no, I mean, not this time. Um, so we just postponed it for like four days. Um, and then I made myself to see like, to do a pregnancy test and see how it goes. Because 
that's the procedure. Before you start the IVF, you have to see a pregnancy test. If it is negative, they'll you know, go with the procedure. But after doing the pregnancy test, it, it showed positive. And, and that was the first sign. I mean, I was so thrilled. I was so excited in my spirit. But on the other side, I felt, what if it was a, a false pregnancy? Why can't we go with a digital one? And Ben brought a digital test. We did that, and we found out that I was pregnant. And God be glory, because sometimes uh, we feel that, you know, if we go through medical treatments, I mean, we would, you know, get pregnant. But for me, it was purely the hand of God. Um, he didn't allow any treatments on me. And he promised us a son. He gave us a son. We named him Judah Samuel. He's right now in the nursery. Um, and uh, especially, I, I really thank Pastor Peter and Sister Margaret because um, whenever we used to come to the power search here, they used to speak life and declare the promises of God. They've been a mom and dad who was um, standing in the tough times. Thank you, Pastor Peter. Um, really, without them, I mean, if you don't have faith, it's really hard to um, walk in the promises, right? Uh, so I really thank God for um, godly uh, parents in our life um, and made us a testimony year. Uh, Thank you. And I would like Ben to share a few things that God put in his heart. So, uh, I wanted to start this by wishing all the moms a very happy Mother's Day. And those who are watching online, a very happy Mother's Day to all of you as well. So, this is the perfect day to celebrate our Mother's Day because God has given us the opportunity to share about how God blessed us with a child after seven to eight years. And uh, during that transition, during that phase, we were praying every day and God equipped us and God helped us to understand who the God is. So whenever we pray, we used to take this verse, Ephesians 3, verse 20, and we used to declare and pray. He is the God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly more than we could ask or imagine according to the power that works inside of us. So in this verse, I want to release this verse to all of you and those who are watching online as well. Jesus, he is a God who can do exceedingly, abundantly more than you could ask or imagine. So as you tasted the love of Jesus in your lives and as you are eager to taste his love, he can do exceedingly abundantly more than you could ask or imagine. It is not because of your knowledge. It is not because of your capability that God can bless you. It's because of the work of the Holy Spirit that works in your life. And he can do great and mighty things through you. So through this verse, God promises us three things. One, God still can do it. Yes. And the number two, God will do it. Amen. And number three, do not be afraid to ask God what you want. God never sleeps nor slumbers. God, who is a God who works every day for us, through the power of the Holy Spirit that works inside us. Throughout this transition, one thing that we developed is to build our faith. We constantly reminded God can do it. God can bless us with a child. God will do it. And we need to ask boldly what we want. And then we specifically prayed, we need a male child, and we want to name him as a Judah Samuel. And God helped us, and God performed the miracle in our lives through all your prayers and through Pastor Peter and uh, Sister Margaret, who constantly stood with us. I, I still remember they came to our house one day and then they kept declaring and praying every day for us. So no matter what is the times that you are facing right now, what difficult times that you are facing right now, please believe in yourself that God can do it. God will do it. 
and God will continue to do whatever you ask for. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, let's just reach our hands toward them and pray a blessing. Father, thank you so much for Benjamin and Evelyn. Father, we thank you that they, they walk with you and that through this experience they've drawn near to you. And Lord, we ask that you will just open the, every opportunity for them, Father, and that you will bless Judah Samuel with a long and fruitful life as well in the name of Jesus.